so I'm hanging off the back of the Jeep. This is the problem. I, uh, that bearing is shot. Maybe not. The salt flats did it. Both uh, uh. these bearings are pretty fucked up. as a kid how bad I felt once because yeah I just messed that up I took my dad's uh, what are you doing you doing in the party I took my dad's socket wrenches we had a bunch of a bucket of golf balls and we were up on top of some hill and we didn't have a uh, we, we wanted to hit the golf balls off the hill with the driver we had we didn't bring any tees with us. So we used, I had my dad's socket wrenches in my old Jeep. Another old Jeep I had. And I s decided to use those, right? So I'm always the guy to find another way to use something. Anyway, I knocked one of his nice socket wrenches flying off the edge of the cliff. And, uh, yeah, I remember that one. Knocking dad's socket wrench off the edge of the cliff. He never said, he never cared, he was always, he, he didn't like me borrowing his tools, I don't think, because I was never very good at putting them back, but, it's funny, now they're all my tools, now they're all mine, should have taken better care of them, anyways, this front caster is spinning again, so, all I have is the same old bolt, like I had last time, which will probably go bad on me, but at least it'll get me a ways. One of these days I'll have to make it to a wheelchair repair shop because it's all specialty bolts and screws on the wheelchair. It's not like it's that nice of a design chair, but they sure make it all specialty products. So. Whatever, these things should all be sealed. All the bearings on these wheelchairs should be sealed so that you can take it in the water and not have to worry about rust. You're doing a nice job of helping, Laura. Thank you. Very nice of you. Wheels all fixed. The view from atop the pass at Summit County. Figured out why I was having a little bit of a rough time getting oxygen in my lungs last night. I'm at 10,000 feet. I don't know if I've ever been at 10,000 feet. I think one of these nights I'm going to try and get over to that lake. I think that's Trial Lake right there. 
But uh, anyway, oh, cell phone reception. I doubt I get cell phone reception, but we're gonna give it a shot. No, no service. Sorry, folks, no video today. Just incredible. This is the lake. Unbelievable. We have arrived at campsite number two. Down there's the lake I just showed you. There are campsites down there for $16. But we get to park here for free. At least with our $6 recreation pass, it's good for three days. So this is a campsite. Can't beat it. Day use area. You can't camp in the day use area and they got the road blocked off. But what they didn't do is block off the road from this end. This took some uh, sneaking through a pasture. Not really sneaking, but driving through a pasture and a little uh, gotta have a jeep to do it tank tank tank. Gotta have something four wheel drive to get in here. So, uh, but we're here. We're gonna go do some fishing. Laura carried her toy down for the first time. I always have to carry it, but she carried it today. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go, there's a trail right there. I'm gonna go down and fish over by those rocks. Hopefully. We'll see, I don't think it should be hard. Looks like a pretty nice lake to me. Fish number two. Check it out. As soon as I catch a fish, Nora's whole mood changes. She just sits at the edge of the water and looks. Because now she realizes that there are fish out there where she was playing. There it is, another fish. Fish number three, trip total number four. Yeah, pretty. Not usually a big fan of trout, but I think I'm gonna like this dish. See ya.